That's the, uh, is that the Moxie Gorge? Is that what we figured, or is that something else out? What, those cabins there? Those camps, those smelt camps. Yeah, that's, uh, that's somebody else's. Yeah, that's, uh, I think it was that's one, one batch of smelt camps. We don't go there, though. We're going down the river a little bit. After we, what's up? Yes, sir. We finally made it. We'll try out the uh, A1 dock. Typical night in Garden of Maine. We stopped at the A1 Diner. Get bells and whistles going off. This place is really, really a lot of fun. If you've never been here, I really recommend. This is uh, old school. Came up here in 1947. It's been in service ever since. And it is the real deal. If you're uh, into the old diner scene. Lovely waitress. She very, very helpful. Oh, so you say it came here in 1947? 1946. 1946. Wow. It's been here ever since in service. Ever since. Current owners have owned it for 28 plus years. Wow. That's cool. It's good to see this place is still around. Here it is. Oh yeah. Got the stove all wet. I know you hear us talking about uh, sabiki rigs, but if you're ever in the store, that's what they actually look like. Come, they come packaged up. Um, and you can see all the hooks are here, and they're packaged very good in the sense that once you learn how to unload them, you tear the plastic off, and the top is the barrel swivel on the top. And what you do is you tie your line on, and the line, it actually they all unload like this, and you end up with probably about a six foot string of hooks with about six hooks on it and uh, at the bottom is the, um, uh, the clip and what you do is you clip your one ounce or half ounce weight on that and that enables you to drop it down to the bottom and it sits but all said and done you end up with uh, a line of hooks and one two three four five six and we've actually had better luck with the the green and white and the red and white, right? Yeah. <clears throat> that was busy catching fish, so. Um, I've been using the red and red and white all season. I think you used mostly the white. Yeah, them? like tonight I'm using, might be all white tonight, I can't, yeah, I think it's all white. But I'm not sure if color is really a big deal, but I think the red obviously, I've always had better luck with red and white because I think that sim symbolizes an injured fish, you know, blood. Like a gill plate or something exposed. Yep. So. Last year we did. Too. We were using the green a lot. The green worked really well for us. Yeah. And uh, it was getting a little bit hard to find, so hence we get these other colors, and they seem to be doing really well. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like you say, maybe it varies from year to year, but. The other thing is, if you don't get them early in the season, as, you, as winter starts progressing, there's a lot of people in Maine that fish with sabiki rigs. They get hotter and hotter to find. So whenever you see them, you just grab them, regardless of what the color is. Yeah, a dozen or so at a time. Because if you don't, if you snooze, you lose on these rigs. So the other thing we do with these down south is uh, we catch our pinfish and stuff on them. We use them for bait. I've actually got another video uh, down off Curry Pier. And it was catching two or three two or three or four pinfish at a time sometimes. And 
for uh, you know using them for bait fish for crab fishing or shark fishing whatever we're doing at the time so I mean pound for pound I mean these are probably one of the best Al's got a fish on um, pound for pound these are one of the best best deals going I think as far as producing fish baited up his sabiki rig and go on yeah you can here we could use a little piece well definitely fish down there oh yeah definitely oh we're starting to light up aisle looking good yeah that's a good sign when your rod's doing that Yeah, right there. Fish hey. on. Ooh. Here we go. Working class woodsman. Bring him one up. Uh, 23. Yep. Oh, nice little smell. Trick of that sabiki rigs is not getting them tangled. You get six hooks. That's the hardest part, don't you think, Al? I think so. And uh, it's a good job. Uh, See what he's doing is unhooking his line from up there that keeps the weighted sabiki rig with six hooks hanging straight down. Keeps us from getting tangled. Here we go. We got one on over here. Yeah, I lost him. Yeah, he lost him. It's okay. I didn't do a bait check anyway. Another double for Al. Nice. I'll hook him. That's what we uh, that's what we come up here for. Yep, get off. Get off? Yeah. Another one. There we go. Well, I thought you had a double there for a second. Nice little rainbow smoke. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yep. Nice size. But yeah. Good start of a bucket. Fish on. Hold on a sec. Shout out to Tom. The <laughs> doctor is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that. That's a shout out to the migrating moose or Tom. And uh, we're trying out the, what's the other stuff you got there, Al? That's the, Actually, the doctor has a supplement. Yeah. Um, that's the apple pie. It's apple pie. Yeah. And we're, uh, we're, we're not blown away by it, but it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not going to go to waste, but no, we prefer the other. Right, I, I need ice cream with this one. Pick up a double. <laughs> yeah. Not this time. Not this time. He's got a little single. <laughs> I want to let Matt know that that's how it's done. <laughs> You hear that, Matt? Next time we come in for a bottle of McGillicuddy. My church up on the house. I mean, my, my house is closer than from here to the bank, and from the river we put both fish on. And my church is Tide's turning, bud.